Hey guys, Metal Driver here bringing you another WWE Elite Review. Today I'll be looking at Series 93, Cesaro. On the side we get an image of Cesaro, then on the back we get another image, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, so that was the box, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Cesaro. Alright, and here we have the Swiss Cyborg out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a left pointing hand and a right gripping hand. Then he also comes with opposites of each hand. Those are already on the figure. And then he comes with a soft goods entrance jacket. Nice material. It looks really good. I like this uh, fabric and how it's designed. He's got some lettering on the back. It says back in the swing. Cesaro. Got a nice image of him doing the big swing there. Printing looks really good. Some nice detail on this jacket. Looks really cool. He's got white sleeves. On the other side it says just swing it. Printed very well. Then he's got his name printed on the left side by the chest. So a nice cool entrance piece here. And then take a look at the head sculpt. This looks pretty good. I think it has a good likeness to Cesaro. The paint for the most part looks good. It's not perfect. You do see some sloppiness here around the eye and the bridge of the nose. But aside from that, the beard looks good. The teeth are painted really well. The rest of the eyes look pretty good. The eyebrows. I do like how the facial hair is painted, so that looks really nice. They're on both sides. It's got a nice smooth head. There are some weird spots on the scalp. So like these white ones right here. So hopefully that comes off. Looking at the body, I think this looks pretty good. I think it's a decent choice for the Swiss cyborg. Some nice painted chest hair here. He's got some big beefy arms that are double jointed. So I do like that a lot. He's got painted left wrist right here. Not painted on the right. He's got his ring finger painted. The black band on both hands. Looking at the trunks, they have a black and yellow paint scheme. The yellow line work is not perfect. There are some fuzziness around the lines. Nothing too terrible in my opinion, but it is something worth noting. The Cesaro logo is painted pretty well. I like how that looks. Looking at the back, it looks slightly better than the front. He's got some black knee pads with yellow trim. Cesaro letters right here, painted decently enough. Look on the other side, you've got a white cross here. Cross is painted well. The yellow parts look decent. It could use an extra coat of paint. You do see some of that black seeping through on both sides. Looking at the boots, it's got the same color scheme, black and yellow. Yellow it looks to be that it only has one coat of paint. So you do see some of that black seeping through the line work at the top. Not perfect. Lettering here looks pretty good. I'd say that's better than the yellow. Look at the front. Not too bad. I think that looks a little better than the back. Lettering looks good on the right side of the boot. And then the feet are painted pretty well. Again, some of that black is coming through on the yellow part. Like on the rest of the figure. And then going over the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, it goes that high up, slightly down, so not the best range there. Can turn side to side and tilt pretty well. The shoulder has a hinge, although mine is a bit tight on the right, so we'll check out the left one. Goes that high up, rotates all the way around, there is a bicep swivel, and some plastic is cutting off here, so a little annoying. Double jointed elbows, great range there, swivel and hinge at the wrist. He crunches that far forward, goes that far back, waist swivel. Legs go that far out, they go that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees hindered by this knee pad, a swivel at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, it's a great range there, and he has some, well actually he barely has an ankle pivot on this one, let's check out, yep. Not much of an ankle pivot there. And unfortunately, I do not have any other Cesaro figures to compare the new one with, but here he is next to Seth Rollins and the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the new Series 93 Cesaro? I think it's a pretty solid figure, and considering I don't have any others in my collection, really happy to have them. Now, unfortunately, I can't compare them with any others, so I don't know if any previous ones are actually better than this, but I'm willing to assume, with this having the true effects, head scan, and double jointed elbows, technically it would probably be the best one that we've gotten so far. And considering he's not with the company anymore, this is probably going to be the last one we get unless he comes back and returns to the WWE. So for that that reason alone, I think he is worth getting. And if he does end up popping up in another promotion somewhere, now you can have a more recent version of Cesaro, although he'd probably be going by a different name, perhaps his real name, Claudio. Either way, I think it's a good figure. So if you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe. If you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video, leave a comment down below. Just like King JCG said, let's be honest, that don't look like Triple H, that looks like Motorhead. And hey, if there are any good customizers out there, you could probably use that Triple H head and make yourself a custom Lemmy. Check me out on my social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.